Jack, I guess what's the challenge going up against uh, the Jets this week from what you've seen on tape? Yeah, I think it's a big challenge. I think they got a, a really good front. Um, they fly around to the ball. Um, you know, uh, CJ, you know, he's back. He's going to be around the ball. Um, I think they uh, are pitting trading front. Um, I think they're physical. They're, they're willing to tackle. So it's a big challenge for us uh, on offense. I think you've, you've become a more a patient back over the years, Derek, in, in terms of, you know, even if you're hitting up a number of runs and not necessarily getting a big one, you're more comfortable doing that, knowing that eventually, you know, one of the big ones will, will come along. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I think you uh, described that perfect. I mean, you got to be patient in this league, and it's not, it's not always it's not always going to you know happen early. Sometimes it will, but if it doesn't, you just got to be patient. Um, keep you know hitting the dirty runs, and eventually it'll pop through for you. You talked in 2018 about obviously the talk with Eddie George and all the you know, the different parts about being a technician and reading things and how much you improved. So from like that point to now. Is it, is it, have you basically been you know, roughly the same, or have you continued to add you know, since then? Yeah, I think this, over the years, you just get more experience. You learn the game more, and um, you, know, you become, become better at it the more you continue to work on those things. And I think it's just you know, what, what comes with it and comes with the position. I've heard a lot of guys talk about the fact that you guys have turned the ball over seven times on offense. How much does that need to get reversed, that trend? Yes, to maybe reach your full potential on offense. Yeah, we definitely want to be in a, in a turnover margin. We want to be taking care of the ball and, and getting turnovers. Uh, is what we uh, pride ourselves pride ourselves on doing as a team, and you know, just need to change that around and be better at it. Yes, Colt, you were in third and two, you were out third and higher. You, you know that coming into a game, or was that all called after after the second down play? Um, you know, just. This depends on you know what the coaches want. They want me in or they want me out. But you know, usually you know I usually come out and J Mac comes in and, do, and does a great job. So it's just all about you know what they feel. You think opponents sometimes are happy to see you leaving the field? I hope so. <laughs> but um, I mean, I mean, I, I've been doing it for a while, so I'm pretty sure they expect it. Derek, how much have you enjoyed kind of even more incorporating yourself in the receiving game? I know it's something that you continue to work on um, and just to be an, an extra threat in a different way. Yeah, I give uh, Ryan a little nudge on the shoulder. You know, if he doesn't find anybody downfield, you know, I'm there. I'm, uh, you know, I'm there uh, to, you know, gain yards and tr try to make a play out of something. But, yeah, just, you know, working on it every day, trying to improve, trying to get better, being available, taking advantage of opportunities when I um, – you know, be able to get opportunity to catch the ball and get a field and try to make a play. Yeah, I mean, you know, we, me and Coach Dewey working on it every day. Just, you know, just trying to get better. And then when the game comes and opportunity comes, just go out there and do, do what I can. You've worked for a number of different run backs, coach, coaches. Has he preached it maybe or worked with you more than anybody has? And uh, is that kind of you're prodding him, asking him, hey, let's, let's do this anytime we get a spare moment, or is he kind of initiate that? Yeah, I think it's, it's both of us, you know, Wanting to do it and wanting to work at it, and um, anything I want to work at, he's you know always helps me. Always you know give me tips and anything that you know I need to get better at. So you know, it was both us wanting to do it and working at it every day. I like how this team has responded when other when guys have gone down and certainly some question marks about the receiver position this week. How you like the other guys behind Julio and AJ, and how you like this team's ability to kind of keep going when you've got guys out? Yeah, I think just preparing. Um, like a starter, working every day, doing all the things you needed to to be ready for the game, um, in the meeting rooms, and then on the practice field and going out there trying to make a play. And I thought like those guys did a great job last week coming in and stepping up. And you know, I'd expect the same thing this week. So those guys, you know, work out throughout the week and get ready to play on Sunday. Do you ever do the uh, the math yourself in terms of <laughs> okay, through three weeks, this many carries means this many carries for a, for a whole season? Do you ever? No, I don't ever do that. No, <laughs> hell, no. Uh -uh. Does a does a does a reception touch count the same to you as a as a carry in terms of the workload? See, y'all keep asking about this workload and stuff. I mean, I just go out there and play, and that's y'all to look at. I just go out there and play, you know, and take care of my body and be ready to play again.